golf's unique. You have to prove it every year. There's no long-term contracts. There's no guaranteed money. It's a constant proving game out here. Roberto Castro gets it. The third-year PGA Tour pro proved he belonged in 2013, earning his first trip to the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. It was really cool to actually accomplish that and, and to come back and play at East Lake. Atlanta is familiar to Castro. He was a four-time All-America at Georgia Tech, received the 2007 Byron Nelson Award, and was a two-time Academic All-America. He was a senior when I was a freshman. He was the guy on the team. He was a big motivator for me. I wanted to beat him. He knew that motivated me. I made All-American as a freshman, and he was a huge part of that. After turning pro in 2007, Castro earned his PGA Tour card by finishing in the top 25 on the Web.com Tour in 2011. That was probably the coolest experience of my golf career, to just been playing golf for so long and know that I was going to get my shot at the PGA Tour. It was a really, really amazing afternoon. Still looking for his first win, Castro's intensity on the course isn't a true reflection of who he is off of it. I'd watch him be a little bit upset, and I would tell him to don't forget to smile, especially because, you know, you have fans out there. Just to remember how lucky we are to be out here. Her last advice to me before I go to the tee is to smile a lot, and it's helped. Castro couldn't help but smile during the first round of the Players' Championship last season. In his TPC Sawgrass debut, the former Yellow Jacket had the golf world buzzing. It was a really special round. I had no idea what the course record was, but I had an idea I was close coming down that last hole, par five, had a chance to make birdie. A bogey-free opening round 63 didn't break the course record, but it did tie him with a pair of World Golf Hall of Famers named Couples and Norman. It's almost cooler to be tied with Freddie and Greg Norman, so it was, it was a great, really cool experience. In his final 10 events last season, Castro had four top 10s including a runner-up finish and top 25s in all four playoff events. Getting a win would be is kind of a great goal for me for 2014. Knocked on the door last year and felt like my good golf was good enough to win, and that's just the first step. Now it's time to actually do it. His top 30 in the FedEx Cup standings punched his ticket to Augusta for this week's Masters. Very excited. Cannot believe it. I grew up watching the tape from the 86 Masters at my grandparents' house probably a thousand times. So to be playing in the tournament is just a total dream come true.